Hello, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the post for a deck, how to dado them out and install them onto a deck, and also how to do your spacing for your pickets. So hang tight, we'll get started. Here's the deck I'll be working on. I don't show you putting the stairs on it, but I put those on on another video. So here we're set up on a radial arm saw, and I've got little jig stop there so that all my posts will be routered uh, or um, dadoed in the same spot. So I can dado on my radial arm saw. My dado blade won't work on my table saw, but some table saws you can if you've got the correct shield that goes around the blade. So I've got both hands. See on the radial arm saw, there's a backstop that keeps the wood from going backwards. And it grabs, there, it's cut in like three quarters of an inch pathway so I hold it pretty firm. I want to make sure that the saw didn't come shooting forward uh, because the blade spins down into the wood. But I, I just take off. Um, I think I'm, I've changed from taking a whole cut to about half to three quarters of a cut because it was just grabbing really hard. So each one of the posts will be routed out uh, or datoed out. Um, and this right now would be just the one that would go on the flat area of the front of the um, deck. And right after I get this one done, then after you've done this cut, then I'll show you how to do one for the inside corner on where the stairway meets the deck. So we just basically do the same scenario and cut it out you're going to have to do your own measurements based on what kind of wood you use and everything but this is uh i believe uh let me think i, I think it was nine inches i i don't remember the exact measurement but you've got the fascia which is uh seven and a half inches plus uh inch and a half for your deck top so yeah that would be nine inches so you got to cut nine inches of router out so that this will fit up against the fascia of the deck now you can um, do it another way just with a skill saw and just cut it but this is uh, because I had the dado blade I figured I'd do this and I put that this is in the corner of the stairway and I put it up there and marked it and now I'm cutting it out with my skill saw or excuse me circular saw skills and actual brand um, so I just cut up to the back line and then I'll use my, um, jigsaw and I apologize now. I didn't realize how shaky the video is, uh, the, the tripod sitting right there on the, on the deck. So throughout the video, you'll see it kind of shaking like this, but I cut so that it's cut straight up and down. And then I, uh, get a wood chisel and you put it to the flat side on the back and the beveled side to the front to get this started and just kind of go along the whole line and get it going. And then once you get it uh, across there, it should pop out. And then I flip the chisel around so that I can control how deep that wood chisel is going into the wood. So instead of the flat being to the back, I was putting the bevel to the back. And then I clean it up with my uh, jigsaw just to make sure it's nice and tidy in all the corners. got to be a nice tight fit and then I'll take my post and just kind of wiggle it in there and then I take a wood block uh, to put up against the back of it so I don't have hammer marks in my post and just tap it in there and then I've got a uh, post level that I clamp onto the post it's got a level on the side and a level on the front so you can see if it's level both directions. And as I see this one, uh, it looks like I need to put a shim um, up towards the top of the where the post is there. Um, so I try to get a level and then I'll put a shim in there to kind of hold it so that when I tighten her up, it'll be level. And then I'm gonna take a drill bit to pilot the hole. This is the, the bolt I'm using, a lag bolt, and I take a drill bit that is the size of the shank of the bolt, but the threads go past the edges of the uh, bolt, and that way you get 
no no splitting of the wood all the threads dig into the wood except for i will also change it to another drill bit so that i can drill through the post itself so i don't want the bolt to grab the post i want it to grab everything behind the post and i've got right there there's the drill bit that's going to be as big as what the threads are so that it won't actually grab the post I've got the 2x4 or 2x8 that it's going through, and then I've got a 4x4 behind that. So it's plenty um, plenty of beef behind it. I line up all my posts on wherever my support posts are on the bottom of the deck. And as I suck this up with my um, impact driver, it pulls it too far. So I'm going to loosen it up. I'm going to have to loosen it back up and take that out and... I'll end up putting a smaller shim in there, a little thinner. This one was a little thick, and I've got to get that out of there. Come on, get out of there. So then I've got a little little thin piece here I'll put back there. When it sucks up, then it'll be uh, level with the front of the deck. So we're driving that down in there and it's it's grabbing boy this this post has got some beef on it and then the fact that i cut out around that fascia of that top deck where it overhangs that gives it just that much more support if you have just a a square face and you don't have your deck board hanging over then you can just of course uh wrap it around there without having to do that but um, i wanted that extra support sideways and so that's the way i made it that's kind of like a picture frame deck now we're doing one that would be for all the other posts, except for the, I do have one outside corners, and I, I don't show how I did it in my video, but basically I just take a skill saw, and you cut out a quarter of the inside corner of the post, and it fits around the um, corner of the deck, and then, of course, you have to mark the deck and cut it out just like this, too. I neglected to get my video camera going when I, when I did that outside corner, but... You'll, you'll be able to see it when the deck's complete. Uh, see the post on the outside corner. Again, we, we cut in. And I didn't realize it, but my saw is too fat to fit in there. So I'm just going to use my jigsaw to cut that other side. Again, I apologize for the shakingness, but <laughs> I didn't realize how much it was shaking the video camera. You can still kind of get the idea I'm cutting that out. And then I'll grab my wood chisel again and just kind of gently go across here. You don't want to get too carried away. The flat side again is towards the back of the deck. And we just kind of score it across there and just keep going a little deeper, a little deeper. And then that causes it to split pretty straight. And then we can clean it up either with the chisel or with my jigsaw after I've got this piece out of here. I get my jigsaw and I'll clean it up. Now I'm just running the jigsaw back and forth, but the blade is cutting it so that it's getting straight across the back. It's just a little easier than trying to run it the other direction. There wasn't much sticking out. And then I'll get my post for this and get it wiggled in there. Grab my block of wood again and my hammer, and we'll tap it in there. And then I'll grab the uh, post level, clamp it on here so I can see both directions that it's square. And this one's pretty square. I'm not even going to have to shim it. It's just the other one, uh, just the board must have been twisted a little bit on the fascia. So it was pushing the post in and we wanted to get it level. Just a little twist in the wood. Again, I've done the piloting and then drill the bigger hole just through the post so that the screw does not hang on to it. And then um, 
it will suck it up without having to grab that post on the way in. Anytime you do fastening of two pieces together, that's actually the way you should do it. The hole in the piece you're fastening the other piece should be big enough that the screw doesn't grab it. And then all your force is sucked in by the pilot hole that you ran into the other part of the wood. So now I put, you see that screw, and this is just a two by four. You, you have to have minimum spacing uh, or ma you can't have it too wide. I think in Oregon it was four or four and a half, and I ended up just going three and a half because of the way the pickets ended up falling on this deck. It worked out to be a lot more even, and the customer wanted a little smaller uh, spacing on it, so I just used a two by four, and you could use any kind of piece of wood. Just run a screw in it so it sits on that bottom bottom of the deck so it just holds it in place for you, and that way... It's level because you're starting off level and you just stick the, you keep moving that uh, spacing post, kind of like a jig. You just pop it out and move it to the next spacing and you put it in there. You grab another picket and stick it in there. And I have 45 the bottom of my pickets just to make it a little more attractive, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, that was just what the customer decided they'd like. I just fasten it up there. And this is uh, all outdoor wood. The deck itself is actually made from a 15 year old play structure that I took apart, ran it through my planer on one side, and then I will stain the deck and I'll also stain all the, the handrails and the um, steps and stuff. So here it is completed and then I will stain it, and here it is completely stained. So that was it. Well, I hope that was some good information for you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, and then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot, you have a great day.